You've reached Hall in Mockery. And this is Colin Mockery. This is the show where, uh, I believe, if I'm not wrong, this is the show where mm, you call and we mock. That's right. That's right. That's what our wiki how says, anyway. Yeah. And how. Mm. Well, someone put it there. Yeah. You can kind of go on and just type in whatever, like six steps to take tape off of the roll. And who, who does all those pictures? That's interesting. We need to have. We need to discuss the photos on WikiHow. Yeah, and by photos I mean illustrations. Because mm-hmm. I like that artist. It's a specific. They must be busy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, hey, we should get them to do. Well, we have a shirt we, that needs to get made. <laughs> yeah, and we I'd do. like maybe to get them to help us. That would be cool. Like a WikiHow of how to. Because I it. know, like the day before, you're gonna send me an AI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then we'll get in trouble. <laughs> I was thinking something like this. Like, yeah, right. You've had 16 weeks. You've had 16 weeks to make a shirt. And then we're going to get everyone going, you guys know they steal from artists, right? You know that it's actually anti-art. You know that art's anti-art? Oh, God. And then if, what like, if I said, yeah, well, like, guess what? I'm an artist. I'm an artist using it for my art. I'm an artist using it for my art, and I also draw sometimes. And it's the, and it's the point that it's anti-art. Honestly, I pro- I drew something that I scanned and put on the computer once, so it was probably trained by me. If yeah. I can't use the system that's trained by me, well, that's just crazy. If I train the hamburger robot machine at McDonald's, yeah. and then I go to the front of the, the line, I mm-hmm. cut, and I order a hamburger, mm-hmm. and the hamburger machine make me hamburger, okay? Yes. Who's it hurting? <laughs> uh, all I have to say to that is rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Joey, it's yeah. another week, and, and we have to discuss something that happened. Okay. Yes, it's true. It happened. No, I, I was at uh, what we call, we go to, you ever been to an estate sale? Oh, yeah. You go to these places and a family who is either all dead, all dead, or what, like an old guy and his wife died. And mm-hmm. he's like, I have to get rid of her stuff. Mm-hmm. And a group of people is just, wait, walk- an old guy and his wife died. <laughs> and, and he's he there. says, I have to get rid of her stuff. <laughs> and you go, ah! Or he's like, occasionally it will be like, I'm down, he has to downsize. Like, mm-hmm. a guy's wife dies. Yes. Probably because he murdered her. Yeah. And like Matt Damon, he has to downsize. <laughs> he has to downsize to, like, a nursing home. Mm-hmm. So he's just sitting there <laughs> with all of his, like, World War One memorabilia. Uh-huh. And people are just walking through. Like it's a store. Yeah. They're going. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that one. Ugh, Ten bucks. It's yeah. junk. And he's just sitting there like, I fought for that. Yeah. That's the helmet I wore when I killed all them Nazis. I pulled that off my friend. It was his last wish. I bring this home and they're like, it's dusty. It's dusty. It smells. This wouldn't even fit a, fit me. Jeff, come here. Come here. Come here. Get close. I got to show you something really small. Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> What? It stinks like hey, an old bastard. Get out of the way, you old bastard. And he's like, this is my house. Not yet, it's not. He's like, no, I own it. <laughs> not yet, you don't. 75% off everything on Sunday. Just wait, I'm buying this house. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the house isn't for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you go to these things, and uh, we do quite a bit. We do. I, I, he's saying we well, I mean, me and the woman with whom I live. Right. Because it also is very, uh, and I hate to say it, interesting. Mm-hmm. It's like a little museum of a person you don't know. And occasionally they have really, really cool stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's very cheap. Yeah. And you say, well, now this is my stuff. I'm collecting someone else's stuff for my inevitable estate sale. When yeah. I die, someone's going to buy the You're, whole yeah. Agatha Christie collection in mint condition. 
it is interesting that I bought off of some old bastard. You are taking their junk and just kind of holding on to it Mm -hmm. until you go. Then it's someone else's problem. Like I just, I went to an estate sale. So he does. He tried. See that people? He tried. (laughs) What I was going to say was. I went to an estate sale because you said we do, and they were selling a we do, which I didn't even know about. I had the we, yeah, and I thought they went straight to the switch. And it turns out there was a prototype between those two called the we do. Mm-hmm. And this guy was just holding on to it. You know what it was? Huh. Three sticks. <laughs> so I went to an estate sale, and did you know the we was actually <laughs> go- supposed to be called the Revolution? That's just a little fun fact. It is really. Well, it was. <laughs> it's, now it's the Wii. <laughs> How big? That's such a, a strange. They went from the revolu- the Nintendo Revolution mm-hmm. to the Wii. Just interesting. So you went to an estate sale, and I do oh, have right. a story about the estate sale. You, mine's quick. I Go just want to pop in here for no, a second. No, no worries. This is the show. <laughs> Got a, bought a, I, I was looking around. What do I get? What do I get? I said, I'll see the, the Christmas edition Playboy. And I go, well, it's babe it's babe it's christmas, for christmas ornamentation yeah right and she goes go sit in the car <laughs> now i see a, a a newspaper from the 60s man <gasps> lands on the moon man lands he's on ha- the moon he has the paper yeah. from when man lands on the moon he's had it since the 60s wow and i say i gotta have that paper <laughs> that's history folks that's back when america was beautiful they used to say we landed on the moon I say it's cheese. I say it's cheese. <laughs> Kubrick made the cheese moon, and he filmed it, and he did it, and he moved it, and he boo boo, and he boo boo, and he. What's on the other side? What's on the other side? Dark, so dark, so dark. Listen to this, money. <laughs> <laughs> so and and it's also a funny a funny paper because uh, and that's not the funny papers. No. There's no Hagar to be seen here. But there probably is a comic section. There. There is. It's hard to. You don't really want to flip through it too yeah, much. So don't please touch it. don't touch it. But it's, it's also like wife at home worried for husband. Oh, silly wife! Like in the newspaper. Oh, sure. Yeah. Weird, <laughs> weird and sexist. But uh, whatever. Three bucks. You know, it's not even. Yeah, they don't cool. know. They're just like, yeah. yeah. But I realize this man has had this for whatever sixty years at this point. You know, yeah. six nineteen sixty. It's twenty. 2020, 60. Yeah, carry the. Yeah, okay. So he's got had it for 60 years. Mm. He dies. Mm -hmm. So what? He just had this. Yeah. And then I bought it. I'm doing the same. It's just there. Yeah. It's kind of it's it's kind of around. You know. Yeah. I know. That's what I said. (laughs) Hey, mama. Hey, mama, mama. But yeah, it is kind of sick, isn't it? It's like when your roommate has a skittish cat or something and it's just always hiding every time someone comes over it goes under the bed it goes under this goes mm-hmm. under that and you're just like it's just kind of a you just have it around yeah why do we have this thing you're like why is it wearing a kilt mm-hmm. oh you said skittish i thought you said scottish <laughs> doctor no Ugh. so you were at an estate sale okay so i was at the and so a lot of times they hire a company to come mm. in and put prices on everything that's that's why you get lucky well that uh-oh that's Oh no! <laughs> That's usually when it's like, is this really worth fifteen dollars? Or like, who says? Mm-hmm. Now we went to a different one, just as a little tangent, where they everything was a name a price. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just eating a little tangent. <laughs> All right, Batman. So you got to, that's what I did with the newspaper. It was kind of, I think this was a last day situation Yeah. where I was like, eh, well, what are you going to do with this? Yeah. This one was one day only and some stuff was marked, but there are signs everywhere. Price as marked mm-hmm. or make an offer. But then you're like, what's a reasonable offer? Well, it said price as marked. I think you're supposed to rub yeah. your scent on it. That's true. And it's just yours. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> this old guy's like, hey. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the helmet I fought Hitler in. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, this other one, so it's sometimes the, the company will come in and they'll price everything and then you take it up to the counter mm-hmm. or like a little table and there's like a guy or a girl or someone there and they're like, hey, honey, did you find everything you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they're like, hey, Jim, mm-hmm. did you see we have another one on the other side of town? He's like, yep, I'm going to hit that one up later. <laughs> Just this is what people do yeah. all the time. And... Seems kind of fun, actually. It seems kind of fun, but as we said before, and I think I said it first, you're kind of just collecting. Yeah. It's just becoming your collection. Yeah. Right? Someday my children will throw away some other guy's stuff. My kids are going to be <laughs> Isn't like. Isn't that weird? So, this was, so, so dad had a copy of The Stand. Okay? He had a copy of The Stand. Stephen King. Stephen King's The Stand. And he bought another one to read. And this one sat there. So he went to an auction. He yeah. went to an estate sale, found another version for cheap that he could read. He kept both. There's just two of everything here. What an, what an idiot. Yeah. And then your kids start to think less of you. It doesn't matter because you've left this ethereal plane, right? Yep. You're out of here. You know, you are you got the one-way ticket. You got a first-class uh, uh, ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, this at this one there's a a nice larger man. Oh. Larger man. He's still attractive. You yep. can whistle. Sick. Oh. And slightly that sort of su- he had a southern kind of drawl mm-hmm. like the Lindsey Graham type where you're like, like check this out. It's no, a- the Lindsey Graham type where it's like style. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not sure and I no judgment either way, but um, kind of seems like maybe you're one way, mm-hmm. but maybe you're not. And it's a fine either way. It's just I can't quite tell. So <laughs> a lady came up to him and said, how many times a day do you get this? And he goes, oh, boy. And she says, you look just like that guy from Modern Family. And he goes, the fat guy. <laughs> And she goes, no, it's because your cute little hair and your cute little face no. and your cute little glass. And he goes, I get it all the time. I look like the fat guy from Modern <laughs> Family. And she goes, no, no, it's just because you're so cute. And he goes, oh, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. And he's like, I do get that a lot. And she's like, what's his name? What's his name? Some other guy's like Eric Stone Street. <laughs> he's just in the he's background. listening. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, yeah, Eric. Oh gosh, you look just like him. You're such, you're so nice. Whatever. And he's like, oh please, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then she leaves, and the guy who's at Eric Stone yeah. Street comes up and he goes, I don't think you look like him at all. And he goes, I know. It's just because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad, but he had to be nice to the lady. Yeah, oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not that sugar. He said, I don't see it. It's just because I'm fat. I know it's just because I'm fat. It was just so you're crazy. In, you're in close quarters with these people, right? You're in someone's 1920s yeah. house. The, so it's everything small. The door frames are smaller. <laughs> Everything's short. Everything's small. There's a reason no one's bought the helmet <laughs> because the helmet doesn't fit yeah. a modern person's head because mm-hmm. all their heads were tiny back then. Yeah. There's and a reason this for all guy, this. Apparently, it sounds like he's a monster <laughs> in this house, and he was just a normal guy. <laughs> but like he was, well, he had a plaid button-up shirt on and had little glasses, which I don't think the guy in Modern Family even has glasses. I don't know. It didn't. I didn't see it either. And I think he seemed to know what she was about to say, so mm-hmm. he must get it enough where he's like, "Cause I'm fat." <laughs> and anyway, it just made me think, why do people say stuff like that to anyone? Because the normal thing to do would just be go up and pay for your stuff mm-hmm. and say, thank you very much and leave. But some people have that little, the intrusive thought that wins, as they say. On and the their internet. filter is put in a little bit different, right? It drips yeah. through. They're like, I have to. I got to say this. You look just like. A gigantic fat Worst guy. Person. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's someone that we have all agreed is the most attractive person in the world, right? Yeah. yeah. Like it, it has to be, but because you're, even if, 
you're you're always on a thin line if you say you look like this person. Yeah. If that person that you just told that to thinks that person looks bad, right? You, then you've ruined their day. You've ruined their life. Well, could be. This and person like, thinks I look like. She of course meant it nice. I don't think she meant it maliciously at all. You, but it is because of his weight. You look like a celebrity. It just so happens that that celebrity is larger. Is heavier, yeah. And portrays a gay man on TV, even though he wasn't. And I can't quite tell with you. <laughs> so Are you also pretending? <laughs> it's just the whole thing. There's so many layers of... And I... When I'm saying, like, I'm nervous right now that I'm even talking about this. So what's his name? Eric Stone Street? I believe so, the actor. Yeah, so yeah. he's kind of good doctoring on TV. Yeah. He's portraying something yeah. which he should not be. I think he might have been the last one to get away with that on TV. Mm -hmm. And now we know the good doctor is ending. Young Sheldon is ending. Hopefully no more non-neurodivergent people. But why is good why is why is young Sheldon? And I'm sorry I have to bring this up in the middle of your story. Young Sheldon is isn't he just a, a dork? He just a nerd. No, Sheldon has something. What? Tell me. Has something. Not something wrong with him, just he's neurodivergent. Which if you're on the internet, everyone is. Mm. But in young Sheldon's case, he has, he actually is, but that kid can act baby. That's the problem. And that kid can act your, can act circles around us. He's act and he's looked the same. For, <laughs> it's like, it's been on for eight seasons and he looks the same that he did. Any of these kids in certain shows, what's the one with, uh, crazy, the custodian from scrubs. What was that show? The middle <laughs> yeah <laughs> that kid okay well yeah i think some might have been <laughs> no but like they got it right if you're gonna have a show on for 15 years <laughs> yeah. and the family has to essentially be the simpsons like they cannot yeah. age well it's it's uh george or gary coleman gary coleman not <laughs> not george foreman <laughs> that's a different that's that's something you find at an estate sale where they go they had one of these oh it's they an original a... george foreman <laughs> look at this grill and he's like grease traps full <laughs> like what <laughs> grease traps oh can you empty it solidified <laughs> can't turn it on so i just think i don't know maybe the guy playing young sheldon also is neurodivergent may i shouldn't lump him in with the good doctor yeah but the good doctor is definitely not no we know that uh, whatever his name and is maybe he is freddie Highmore. Fred flintstone yeah damn i might be wrong about all this but I think I'm right, and therefore I don't care. If, so. if yeah, if you're wrong, I think we have to grow with, from our mistakes. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll leave all this in. Now there have been occasions where we have we talked have, yeah. a long time about stuff that was. I did look it up afterwards and say, oh, we were just wrong, and I cut it. Okay. And what's interesting about that is I was thinking about this too. We have a very small. But mighty platform. We have the best fans. We always say this. <laughs> it's what keeps us going. It keeps the gas in our tank. And we've always said we're growers, not showers. That's right. So if we need to grow from our mistakes. And yep. our audience also needs to grow or we will show ourselves to the door <laughs> and stop doing the show. But even that, for some reason, I feel, even on this, where we're being funny all the mm -hmm. time. I mean, we are being funny all the time, <laughs> but where we're, you know, we're ir uh, 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 ironically detached. There's a, yes, there's a sardonic satirical detachment from everything we talk about here in case you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> but I still feel the need to make sure we're not completely wrong. Well, no, but also it can be taken out of context where people don't understand what context we're saying these things in. Yeah. And even this could be taken out of context. Uh, context like when say I don't know you burn down half a neighborhood yeah or something something like that happens in the future and burn they're like down the neighborhood here's a clip of them saying they're being sarcastic and yeah. it's just like well, you're taking that out of context mm -hmm. we weren't sarcastically burning down half the neighborhood no. I didn't have anything to do with it landed it all himself and he was serious but as we all know it could what you say in a podcast is forever it but it is but as it, soon as something happens we 
we delete the whole this whole show. Sure. And we sell a movie. No more. <laughs> no more Sam baby. <laughs> and as we know, even if it does lose you a job initially, mm -hmm. a certain sect of people will yeah. latch onto you as a martyr and a hero. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get that job back as a as they're better. Yeah, you'll get the job back and you'll be actually the the thing that most people want, which is to host that job. Yeah. So you get fired from it and then they bring you back as a sort of maid of honor. Yeah. You, you get they the kind best of, say, of both worlds. They kind of say, actually, just hypothetically, this might be what yeah. they sound like. You know, you're... <laughs> Oh, Sorry, excuse me. My I'm, popcorn. But peanuts. <laughs> and my Coors Light. Yum. <laughs> Yum. You know, actually, you're better than us. Mm -hmm. We made a mistake, and actually now you're bigger and better than we ever could be. So why don't you come on back for a week? And hypothetically, that guy's like, oh, so I, I don't have to try to make stuff funny every week? I just get to come on once and be the hero, and uh, you know, then I get to go back and be on Joe Dogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to watch that. It's going to do bufo numbers. Oh yeah, people it's, are going to be tuning in. To it's going to be the Trump episode of the year. Shane Gillis. Oh, we're just going to say it. Yeah, is hosting SNL. Do you think they'll do a James Austin Johnson versus Shane Gillis Trump? Oh, that'll be awesome. That'd be so funny. That'd be so sick. Or like when Jim Carrey hosted or Adam Sandler, they do the the re family reunion. Mm -hmm. That might be funny. Those are fun for me to see my heroes mm -hmm. get to see people do their thing back to them. Yeah. And well, go, wow, I have created. It okay. is kind of crazy that you can do something stupid. Yeah. Like, oh, you. And everyone just Everyone knows. loves you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this will be like that. Your like, hero. You changed my life, sir. Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll have him come back on, too. Oh, that would be awesome. And they're like, uh, he shows up. What would it be? He shows up, and he's doing like, guess what? We're doing Trump socks now, too. And yeah. so he's got gold socks or whatever. And then someone comes in, and Shane Gillis is like, hello, I've got Trump gloves. Yeah. And then uh, James Austin Johnson has, what, a helmet or something? We have Trump helmets. And then Alec Baldwin, they open they let him out of jail for a day and he's like <laughs> <laughs> We're doing we're doing ties now. We've got ties. And everyone goes, He was bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> if you put him in the same room with all these guys. And then he does a quick aside to the camera <laughs> and says, I'm doing it bad on purpose, Lemon. <laughs> it's because I don't respect him. And you're like, the yeah. best way to do sure. <laughs> impersonation is to do it as bad as possible. <laughs> and everyone says, okay, <laughs> whatever. So crazy. And then Bo and Yang comes in and he does one. Yeah. And we're all just like, ooh, 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 ooh. it's funny. <laughs> Who else could come in and do one? Well, they've got these new people that just are not good. <laughs> I haven't been watching. No, I've, I've fallen off a little bit. I know we're the SNL podcast. We are, but I haven't been watching either. Because even the Iowa Deborah uh, episode, mm -hmm. I haven't watched. That's the one I wanted to watch. And I, said, I think it was good, but I saw they had Nikki Haley. <sighs> yeah. And you make people do stuff with her. It's just kind of weird. I mean, I get they still want to act like they're both sides in it. Mm -hmm. But you're not. Mm -mm. so don't why do this no yeah anyway so that was at the estate sale and uh that was pretty much it yeah well i think we should start the show then which yeah. means we need to crack open our um hold on what's this liquid death is this like uh is this like alcohol or something i hope so <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no, it says here zero calories. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Huh. Oh, oh, look, it's flavored. Oh, it's kind of like they're... Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, that's Everyone's got to have a brand thing, right? Yeah. Like, I think that's cool. Theirs is like death metal almost. Yeah, or something. That's, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Mine's, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's called... Oh, I, oh, this is funny. It's like a little pun. Mine says... <laughs> Unparalievable. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. It's kind yeah. of going with the death metal theme. 
<laughs> what the, how about yours? Um, what's that? Oh, it's a picture of a little guy in a like jail, jail suit. Oh my god! But he's kind of ra- oh. So oh, was con- it? convicted melon. <laughs> okay, I gotta try that. Yeah, it s- smells like melon. It's like a musk or a mm. water, or can- uh, cantaloupe or the green one. Cantaloupe's a little too musky for me. What's the green one? Is that honeydew? Yeah, that's it. That's like this the, is kind of a honeydew. That's like the list my woman with whom I live makes. <laughs> <laughs> honey, do this. Honey, that, do that. Hey, listeners, hey. I'm not advocating for a, 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 a trapped situation, a mm, marriage no. where people feel trapped. In no. fact, the opposite. I hope that everyone has a, a, a marriage. In fact, I think everyone should get divorced. Yeah. I think this is the end of marriage as we know it. It's been a good run. It's been a good run. It's just not viable anymore. But why do we, we don't have to just do, oh, because, well, my grandpa played chess every day. That doesn't mean you do. Oh, That I, doesn't mean you have to play chess every day. Got a really cool chess set at that estate, so. Is it just one that sits there? Or do you have to, is it like a box? It's like an old, like a stone one where all mm. the pieces look the same. Mm-hmm. So you're like, is that yeah. the rug or the bishop? That sounds like an outdoor chess set. It sounds like a. It sounds like a chess set that will get used even less than normal chess sets just because everything kind of looks the same. Yeah. 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 It'd be impossible to play. Mm-hmm. Like we got the uh, the chess set, the uh, Harry Potter chess set, mm. Lego set. We said, well, we can A, we can build it. Yeah. And it's usable and you beyond it. that. Yeah. I played it once with one guest we had. Whoa. Not even the person with whom which I live every day. It sits there and then a cat... Uh, my roommate's cat that's always hiding <laughs> kind of hits its tail on it and knocks all the figures over it. And you're just like, God! And then you have to remember, so this thing, what is this? He's this not riding a, a horse, but he's not tall. It doesn't look like a bit. The bishop and the rook look the same. They look the same. These guys all, there's eight of these guys, so I know where they go. They go frenzies. Yeah. Tiny pawns, tiny pawns. Tiny pawns, tiny pawns. Oi, tiny prawns! <laughs> Get back in District 12! <gasps> Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> that reminds me. Did you watch anything? Did I watch anything? Well, check out this. I told you about the Rye Aliens last week. You did. Um, that stayed in the show. Let's <laughs> let's uh, let's say you might want to watch it just because it gets a little. I don't. I, it kind of gets crazy. Oh yeah. It's just kind of weird that's still happening. <laughs> and there's something someone does. I don't know. I mean, I'll check it out. Sure. Maybe check it out. I'm not even now at this point. I'm like, I don't want to make it to anything like check, try it. I don't know. Okay. If you watch all that weird stuff, you love all these weird cult documentaries. Yeah. Uh, well, in the vein of documentaries, let me look up what it was called. Um, death. No, the devil on trial. Do you see this? It's on Netflix. I was just playing my banjo. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. That's the devil on trial. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of this. Well, this is the story. It's a documentary following the 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 case of a little boy who got possessed allegedly, mm-hmm. and then his sister's fiance ha, ha, ha. asked. The, de- the demonic presence, leave this boy alone, come to me instead. Mm-hmm. And enter Lorraine and Ed Warren. And they said, and they said you never, never challenge a demon like you that. Don't do that. And then this guy, Arn, mm-hmm. killed a guy, but said it was because of the possession. And about halfway through, I said, well, about halfway through, Ed and Lorraine show up, and I said, it's going to be them, isn't it? Mm. It's the Warrens. And then they're like, then we called Ed and Lorraine Warren. And I said, yeah. yeah. And then by the time they reveal the guy killed another guy mm-hmm. at a, it was like his landlord and he was a pet groomer. I said, I've seen this before. <laughs> oh, it's the, the, I think the third conjuring, the devil made me do it. Yeah. I said, I've seen this before. Hey, I seen that on my TV before, but he looked like a different guy. I seen this on he my was, TV. He was young, handsome. 
She was young, handsome. He did a song for the new Insidious movie. He did a song with them Ghost Boys. That's right. He sang in the background. He looked cute there, though. He ain't those. He ain't so cute in this one. Give me a cute boy. I want the cute man back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, and I said, I said, I said, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I said interesting. And th- so they, the documentary portrays this mm. little guy got possessed because he went to <laughs> his, he went to this house and he saw mm. a, the a devil threw him back onto the bed and possess, oh, possessed him. That's damn accurate. He, <laughs> he said he cro- his eyes crossed and he said, "Oh, mama." <laughs> and then he went home and he was kind of he was just kind of scared and he mm. was saying, "Please, mama, please, mama, don't let it." <laughs> don't, don't let it happen to to me again, Mama. It sounds so good. <laughs> and then Ed and Lorraine show up. Well, wait. So was this? Uh, are they are they reenacting this stuff? There, some's reenactment, but a lot of it is. Um, well, they play the actual tapes mm. of like him going, "You little piece of crap." Yeah, where their Mama voice changes. You, Mom. And they're like, he could never do that with his voice. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I want to eat you. And then one thing that really stuck out to me was he said. His tongue? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Someone says, Jesus won't let this happen to you or something like that. And he goes, Jesus will die in hell. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> That's such a 12-year-old kid yeah. thing to be like, the worst thing you could think of is like, Jesus is going <laughs> to die in hell. Jesus died. <laughs> Like fifty years ago, when the Earth began, yeah, they have, they're like that's that's theologically not correct. <laughs> I think the devil, who used to be an angel, mm-hmm. would know that Jebus can't die in hell. Yeah, Jebus already died, and he is rose one again in the from same that. with God. It just none of it, none of it tracks. So with, that, and they kept playing that part. And I said, "This kid's making it up." And I said, "Are they going to show anyone?" Mm-hmm. Because the the main kid who was possessed starts it off. As a sad old man, he's like, I don't talk about this no more, but I think about it every day. I was possessed by the D-ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then his brother's talking, and then Arn, uh-huh. the f- sister's fiance, is also like, this really happened. Of course, you don't know until basically the last fourth of the movie. He, of course he's saying that. He mm. killed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's acting like it's real because he used it to try to get off. Yeah, if if your like <laughs> fiance's brother mm. suddenly got like you were having problems with someone, right? Yeah, yeah. Then your fiance's brother says he's possessed by the demon, mm. and then your fiance takes it upon her. Mm. You're just like, okay, so the lore has been set up <laughs> yeah. that this thing can body swap. You can body swap, yeah. And he's like, and I'm having an issue with this guy that I don't mind the ducks being in my lawn, but he keeps <laughs> shooting pellets at them. <laughs> and like it would just be better for the whole neighborhood the community would be quieter if we could just get rid of him so he's like devil come here yeah i gotta kill jeffrey <laughs> it all seemed a little convenient well okay so and then we we never really hear about the dad of the family mm-hmm. and there's an older brother we don't hear about him until the last like 20 minutes then they sit down with the older brother and he's like I knew it was crap the whole time. <laughs> David's always been a little different. <laughs> and he got it into his head that he was possessed. And then we brought in Ed and Lorraine, mm-hmm. who brought the whole family in and said, now, if he's possessed, he might curse, he might spit, he might growl, he might writhe around on the floor. And they said this in front of, in front the, of the kid. Boy. And then so he's taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, obviously, he, he heard all of that mm-hmm. because that night when they left, what do you think he started doing? And then they replayed the tape of him going, the devil's going to die in hell. And you're like, yeah, that's funny. And then he's like, <laughs> my dad, he just didn't believe any of it. But mom kind of always got what she wanted. So he just he just went into the other room when David started acting up. <laughs> but he said one night in particular, David was really laying into my mom, calling her a, a B word and stuff. So dad comes out of his bedroom picks up David, slaps him across the face, and says, you're done doing that. (laughs) And sure enough, the devil stopped. (laughs) And it was just crazy, but it was kind of funny that he's like, yeah, none of that happened. Which you could, as a viewer, you're like, Mm. 
you see what's happening, but they're playing it straight. And it is kind of funny that at the end they're like, yeah, it was all fake. This is <laughs> such a, like, this could easily just be, like, your neighbors, you <laughs> yeah. know, but, it, like, the difference is they brought in two well-known, like, demonologists or whatever. Yeah. Instead of just being like, I got a kid who's kind of energetic. Yeah. And his sister's getting it in her mind that, you know, he's <laughs> freaking her out. But the cra- here's the craziest part. Then, I don't remember what the older brother's name is. We'll call him Alan. Mm-hmm. Alan says all this stuff. He says, so David's probably making it up. And then Arn killed the guy, and he's trying to get off by using the possession. All of it's crap. An innocent man died mm-hmm. because of all this craziness with my family. They lied, and he died. See? Mm-hmm. And then he says, when my mom passed away just recently, I mean, I don't know, maybe not recently. <laughs> I, I think maybe I added that. <laughs> I don't know when it was. But when she died... He and his wife were going through all of her stuff, and she was a strange lady. She took notes of, on everything. So she written on all of her stuff were notes. So that's scary. That's yeah, scarier that's than scary. David. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, one of the, one of the da- diary entries we found said, the whole family got their medicine, and, and everyone's down for the night. All is well, or some, something like that. And he was like, so we found out she was giving us all sleeping pills every night. So she was just trying to control us. And one of the side effects for this was uh, hallucinations. Mm. So like prolonged use of it could, could give you hallucinations. So David probably was seeing stuff and all this. Stuff. But they never went into how he figured out what she was giving them like mm. one note and these he's like so then we found out she was giving us like three benadryl a night <laughs> they but they how never said how yeah, yeah. he's like just said it matter of fact so i don't believe any of them i don't know that's still scarier than david <laughs> <laughs> they're all kind of conspiracy theorists in my <laughs> mind with nothing else better to do but i found it interesting you know in the shining the book, not the movie. Yes. Stephen King famously hates the movie, so we don't talk about it here. Of course. Uh, Jack, the dad, he when he goes cuckoo crazy, he keeps saying, I'll give you your medicine. Mm. I'll give you your medicine. That's so right. maybe she was sort of doing it in that way. She was doing it. Because he's got a, a roke mallet or whatever, and he's like, I guess you'll get your medicine tonight. Yes, mm. I guess you will. <laughs> <laughs> Just for like 500 pages. <laughs> you'll be getting your medicine as soon as I find you. Yes, I will. Your medicine's coming, boy. Come here. Dad wants to play. He just wants to give you your, your medicine. I guess he will. I guess you will as well. Wow. And you're like, this guy's a master of macabre. <laughs> Crazy. No, that's a good book. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I didn't watch anything that crazy, but that does, that does remind me of a a movie I I did watch. And I don't know if it was one of the aforementioned conjurings or something, but at the end of it, they showed where it was like, this actually happened to Emily Rose. Mm -hmm. Let's say, let's make a name, the exorcism of Emily Rose. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they say this actually happened and here's footage from that actual exorcism. And there is a movie where they show part of the exorcism and she's like, help me. And it's like, and this voice comes out of her that is not her doing a voice. And it's shocking. Yeah. So you're like, maybe that's the one that's real or they, you know, the, the producers might've done a little manipulate. I can't trust anybody. The producers are like, it kind of sounds like she's doing a voice. Yeah. So what if we make it crazier? Add a little. Yeah. We use AI. (laughs) Which is trained by me, me on this podcast <laughs> to do a voice, that and goes, it's just like the devil wants to send you. That was one of the other things too. He, one of the times he said, "You freaking fucking," <laughs> like he doesn't know how to swear. <laughs> you are a freaking fucking freaking <laughs> stupid idiot ass. <laughs> just <laughs> come on. The devil is more sophisticated than that. Yeah, he wouldn't. No, he's say a, that. he's the ultimate trickster. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was a snake, right? Dirty dirty snake. Dirty snake, make you eat the apple. Make you eat the apple. Not make you, tempt you. Tempt you to do it. It's your fault that you did it. Yep. And now we all have to live with, like, 
Clothes. Taxes. What? Clothes. I think he said Kohl's, and I was like, that is bad. <laughs> because they are marking stuff up on purpose. Kohl's, we went into Kohl's. All the clearance at Kohl's is more expensive than Kohl's. We've been into Kohl's <laughs> and the clothes at Kohl's. They're marking, like you said, they're marking it up. And mm-hmm. then so it goes on clearance. Even the, they still have the Christmas stuff on clearance. There's an aisle full of Christmas stuff. Even the treats, Christmas yeah. treats, they're still 15 bucks. This, a tin of Christmas chocolate should not be $15 on clearance. This Hallmark VHS, this this ornament, which is a miniature VHS tape of Indiana Jones, is not $25 half off. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't care who you are, but a pack of Hanes, I see the suggested retail on the back, $68 for three pairs of Hanes. And they're like, no, but we're selling them for for thirty. Still too much. Still too the much. The hell are you? T- but, the, but then plus t- you get a Kohl's cash for a dollar. Okay, that's the thing. They went all right. They went too crazy with Kohl's cash. Mm-hmm. They were giving it out. Basically, you could just walk in the door and they'd give you like a twenty dollar Kohl's cash. Yeah, you could return stuff and they'd say keep your Kohl's cash. <laughs> they were giving you if you went in there to you to drop stuff off for Amazon. They give you cash. You'd leave with Kohl's cash. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know what to get. I have yeah. all the Kohl's cash. And I'm like, I don't need a pair of Dockers. Yeah. It's like, or, yeah. yeah. And the stuff I do want, mm. like you said, the electronics and stuff, they're not marking that down. No. Or some stuff is when they have a sale or like 50% off mm-hmm. one item, except all of the stuff you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like only Kohl's brand. Excluded is just the a list of everything. <laughs> and you're like, that's sick. Mm-hmm. Why even do that? It's disgusting. Makes me <clears throat> sick. It's scarier than David. Bye. Bye. listening to the prescribed films podcast network home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment the shows on this network all have a common goal providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media the pfpn hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com thanks for listening